Hello, hello, Dufra911 here, and today we are going to start taxiing the PMDG Boeing 777. So, the first video, or sorry, the first procedure that we're going to be looking at is the before taxi procedure. So, in the last video, we've just pushed back away from the gates, we've just been pushed back onto the taxiway, although because of my miscalculation, we're not actually anywhere near the taxiway centre line. Um, but we've just pushed back from the gates and we are now ready to taxi. So, the first thing that we need to do is come up to the overhead panel here. The first step is to turn off the APU. So we come up to the APU selector here and simply left click to move the switch to the off position which will turn off the APU. Next we want to come down to the anti-ice selectors and we want to make sure that these are set as you need them. Uh, usually it's just best to leave them into the auto position, however if there is heavy snow on the ground you might want to switch these to the on position. Next I'm going to come over to the first officer seat, uh, just because it gives us a little better view of what's happening here. The next thing we want to do is set the flaps for their takeoff position. So we're going to be set uh, taking off with flaps set to 15. So I'm going to move the flaps lever down three positions here to the 15 position and you'll see that 15 has been selected on the ECAS display and the white bar indicates that the flaps are moving to that position. Next what we need to do is do a test of the flight controls. So I'm going to stay in the first officer's seat for this uh, again because just the visibility is a bit better here. So what we want to do for the lower centre display is we want to bring up the flight controls page there which gives us a synoptic view of the different flight controls. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to move the controls full their th through their full range of motion to make sure that everything moves correctly and moves as expected. So I'm going to move the ailerons, so I'm going to try to roll to the left, that all works correctly roll to the right, that's all correct, pull back, the elevators move, push forward, elevators move, return, uh, they're going to kick the rudder to the left, accidentally set off the parking brake there as well, that's fine, move the rudder to the right, we want to make sure that everything moves back to its neutral position when your hands are off the controls there as well. Now, because my uh, I use a set of rudder pedals for my controls at home, uh, I accidentally uh, turned off the parking brake, so just re-enable that as well. So that was the flight controls tested, and everything is working fine in there. What we're going to do next is we're going to undo, uh, sorry, we're going to check the recall button and just make sure that there's no alerts come up. Now we do have one caution, which is the TCAS is off. That's absolutely fine, I'm going to leave that there for the time being. Um, let's see, um, yeah that was the last thing that we needed to check. So now what we need to do is we need to run through the before taxi checklist. So for the lower centred display, I'm just going to bring up the checklist page again there. So before taxi, uh, we've checked the anti-ice, we've decided we're going to leave it on auto. We've done a recall of any caution messages and we found that the TCAS is switched off. So uh, what we can actually do before we, uh, before we proceed is we, because we're at a, a large airport, um, Heathrow does actually have a ground radar so they can track aircraft moving on the ground. Um, and what we can do with the transponder, if I change my view to a better one here, oops. So for the transponder, what we can do at a busy airport is you'll actually want to set the transponder to alt repeating off or leave it on standby. Um, so if we set it to alt altitude repeating is set to off, that means that the aircraft is visible on uh, air traffic controls radar screens, however it's not reporting the aircraft's altitude. So that would help any ground radar systems pick up the aircraft and help controllers uh, know where the aircraft is on the ground at any time. So, um, yeah, there's a little mistake in, in my checklist there. So what you want to do... Um, oh, okay, that'll be why, because I uh, 
I, I missed that step as I was following my own checklist here. So there we go. So for the transponder panel, yep, you want to uh, either set the altitude to alt repeating off or leave it on standby if you're not at a busy airport or if you're at an airport that does not have a ground, uh, ground tracking radar. Okay, after that, then you would check the uh, the recall button and check any uh, error messages there. So if we take a look at that now, the TCAS off is there. We can cancel that because we've now enabled the... Uh, or no, sorry, the TCAS should still be off, but uh, we will enable that before takeoff. So if we come back to the... Take a look at the lower display there. So we've checked the recall, that's all correct there. So we've checked the flight controls, we did our contro movement of the uh, flight controls, that's all been checked, that's all working correctly and as expected. And we've uh, checked all the ground equipment, we just do a visual check outside of the aircraft, make sure everything is clear, which it will be. So we click the normal button and that automatically puts us onto the next checklist, which is the before takeoff checklist. Now you can see that's already been done, but I'm not going to click ahead just yet, uh, just going to follow this procedure forward a bit further. So now that we've completed the before taxi checklist, um, now would be the time to request taxi clearance from air traffic control. So let's imagine if I bring up my chart here. Now I'm not flying with any air traffic control for these procedure guides. However, I will be doing a video at the end of the series where I do a 777 flight on VATSIM. So you can get a sense of how air traffic control uh, filters in with, with these procedures. So for our taxiing chart here, we know that we're on the, ta uh, the Charlie taxiway and we know that we're going to be going towards runway 09 left. So let's imagine that we contact air traffic control and they give us a taxi clearance. They say uh, taxi to holding point Alpha Bravo 13 here via taxiways Charlie, Alpha and Link 57. So what we're going to do is we're going to taxi straight ahead. Uh, we're going to turn left onto the Alpha taxiway and we're going to taxi along Link 57. So one important thing to note as well is in the UK, the air traffic control will typically give you your taxi destination and then the route. So for example, they would say taxi to Alpha Bravo 13 via taxiways Charlie, Alpha and Link 57. I think if I'm not mistaken, in America, they tend to give you the full taxi clearance in one go. So they would, when you request a taxi clearance, they would say, Taxi along taxiway Charlie Alpha Link 5 Second 2 Holding Point Alpha Bravo 1 3. So there's just a little uh, difference there, and it might be different in other locations in the world. Uh, but in the UK, it's just a little thing I've noticed. They'll give you your destination first, then the route, whereas in America, I've noticed they'll give you just the full route to the destination, if that makes sense. So let's imagine we've received our taxi clearance. What we're going to do is come up to the overhead panel here. We're going to turn on the taxi light. And then we're also going to release the parking brake. And the aircraft is now ready to taxi. So what we're going to do is just increase the thrust ever so slightly. Just to get the airplane rolling. What I'm also going to do, if I take a look out to the left there, you can see that's where the taxiway centre line is there uh, because the pushback wasn't quite correct. So what I'm going to do is once I get rolling, I'm going to do a quick turn to the left there. And I'll get us established on the uh, taxiway centre line there. Okay, and at this point, all you want to do is simply taxi to the location that you've been cleared to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the aircraft established on the taxiway center line and just give you a little uh, pointer, which should hopefully help with taxiing this aircraft. And uh, let's also hope that all these ground vehicles decide to stop before I uh, I come through here. <laughs> so yeah, just give it, like crossing any road, give it a, a quick look to left and right before uh, before. Um, crossing the road there. Right, good. I think we're okay. So, as you're taxiing along, if you want to get the aircraft centred nicely on the taxiway, um, the best thing to do 
is to try and get the uh, the taxiway line. You want it to sort of pass through this area of the primary flight display. So if you imagine following this line down, you want it to be passing through sort of about, that's not quite right, but about that position there. So if you imagine drawing the line down, you want it to be passing through the uh, the right column on the flight mode enunciator. And if we take a look outside there, you can see that the nose wheel, whoops, the camera is going all sorts of crazy, but you can see that the nose wheel is slap bang over the center, uh, the center line of the taxiway there. So if you're flying this from the, the flight deck, that's the sort of the visual reference that you want. Uh, is you want the center line to be going down through the right hand column of the flight mode enunciator here if you imagine kind of drawing it down in straight line. Uh, one other thing to note as well, if you are uh, taxiing with the uh, 777-300, you may also have the uh, the taxiing cameras available over here on the uh, on the over here on the display selector. So if you want to make use of those as well, so you can keep an eye on the landing gear and the position of all of the wheels as you're taxiing, you can do that as well. Now do remember that the 777 is a long aircraft, so what you want to do as you're taxiing and making turns like this is you want to sort of slightly overshoot the turn uh, to make sure that the rear wheels don't cut across any grass or uh, cut to any corners there. So I'm going to overshoot this turn slightly and then bring the aircraft around. So here you can see uh, the black uh, taxiway board there shows that we're on taxiway alpha. And then once again you want to just get the aircraft lined up as best as you can on that centre, uh, on that taxiway centre line there. And it might take a little bit of a go because remember the aircraft is quite long so the back wheels might not be exactly where you think they are so even if you get the, uh, the aircraft positioned correctly it might kind of start going off to one side or the other just as the uh, the main landing gear kind of catches up and the aircraft properly positions itself over the taxiway there. So as we're taxiing along and we're making our way to the runway what we can do at this point is we can do the before takeoff procedure which is a very quick procedure there's only a couple of items. Uh, the first one is to turn on the weather radar. So we can do that simply by coming over to the map switch here and turn on the weather radar. Also, if you're flying in uh, a mountainous area or if there's any terrain nearby that is of concern, you could also enable the terrain radar uh, if that would be a concern during the, uh, during the departure there. After that, what we need to do is we need to do the before takeoff checklist, which is very quick. We just want to make sure that the flaps are in the correct position for takeoff. So we're going to use flaps 15. The flaps are down at position 15. We can now mark that as completed. So as you're taxiing along, um, a typical taxi speed um, is somewhere in the region of 10 to 20 knots as you're going in a straight line. If you're going around a corner, you want to bring the aircraft down to about 10 knots for cornering. If you're doing any sharp corners, uh, like anything 90 degrees or beyond, you'll probably want to bring the aircraft down to below 10 knots ground speed. So this is us just coming up to the end of the runway here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to round this corner here and we'll, uh, we'll stop the aircraft short of the runway. So it's a bit tricky here because the, uh, the, the holding point is on the turn so uh, getting your positioning might be a bit tricky so don't worry about it if you find that you cut inside the corner here, um, it's not the end of the world. Okay so I'm going to just bring the aircraft to a stop there and I'm also going to just enable the parking brake while I just sit, uh, sit here.
Okay, so with that, that brings us to the end of the before taxi and the taxi and before takeoff procedures. So I'm going to wrap up the video here and in the next video we're going to take a look at the takeoff and the climb procedures. So there's going to be a lot happening in the next video, so uh, hopefully you'll come along for that one. So until the next time, thank you all very much for watching, take care out there and I will catch you all later.